when Jurassic Park came out, suddenly a whole new series of questions came my way. And everybody that I meet wants to know, what about Jurassic Park? Can we really do that? Can we really take DNA out of these fossilized bones? And the short answer is no. Uh, we've actually CAT scanned now some insects that were preserved in amber, and they're very misleading. When you look at them, you polish the amber and look at this bug that's trapped inside the amber. It looks like a beautiful specimen. But the only parts of it that are preserved are the actual exoskeleton's outer surface that are actually touching the amber. And when that animal was alive, it had a bacterial colony inside it and just digested it all out. And so it turns out that when we section these things, they're hollow inside. There's nothing left except the outer skin. Now we have gotten DNA out of dinosaur bones. The big question is, well, whose DNA is it? Because these bones are buried in the soil and then buried deeply in the ground. And once they're buried, everything living above them, the trees, the flowers, plants, all that stuff is raining organic material into the soils that has DNA in it. The worms that are churning up the soil have DNA in them. And all of that stuff leaches down through the ground into the dinosaur bones. But DNA doesn't have a very long survivability in the fossil record. A few thousand years, is, it's really exceptional to get DNA that's more than a few thousand years old. And so we've pulled DNA out of dinosaur bones, but it didn't belong to dinosaurs. It belongs to worms, and it belongs to trees, and in some cases, humans maybe, you know, have coughed on the specimen or from the oils on their hands, they uh, have, you know, uh, contaminated the specimens. And so I'm afraid that DNA is probably not going to help us go back to Jurassic Park. But there's another sort of answer to this, and, and that is, our own DNA, our, our own DNA, our own genome is kind of like the hard drive on your computer. And you know, you put new software in and you don't always erase the old software. And sometimes you can hit a wrong keystroke and you bring up an old file or an old version of the software. And um, developmental biologists who study how organisms develop from a single cell into an adult animal have learned that sometimes you can turn these developmental programs on or off. So one example is that some scientists in Europe figured out how to make birds regrow their teeth. They still have that blueprint for how to grow teeth and it's just been switched off and they found the switch for turning it back on. And so it may be possible to uh, reconstruct ancestral morphologies, and ancestral forms and shapes by fiddling around with the DNA of living animals. And in the case of dinosaurs, if we wanted to regrow an extinct dinosaur, we might be able to do some of that by fiddling with the DNA of a chicken or a pigeon or a modern bird. So if we're going to find our way to Jurassic Park, I don't believe we'll find our way there by using DNA from fossils, but we might be able to find our way partly down that road by looking at the genome of living birds.